Hey everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe, and today we are going to do an experiment using resin and this mold. It makes these little circles. So, I wanted to try to see if I could essentially make like a glass dome for um, my jewelry uh, one inch cutouts from my skins using resin. So I have two different um, techniques I'm going to try. The first is I'm just going to use, just fill it up. I'm going to use a little syringe here. I'll show you right now. I'm just putting some resin. This is already mixed up. It's a one to one ratio using stone coat countertops art coat. I'll show you the bottle here in just a second. I'm just going to put some like blank ones in here. Just fill it up slightly. I'll need to tidy up that edge. I'll do another one. Hopefully I'm in view. Looks like I am. And just fill it up slightly. I'm just gonna get one more out of this syringe here. Looks like we can. And then just let that cure as is. And then use that, pop it out, and put it on top of whatever your, the, the bale, the tray, whatever it is you're using. And then the other one I'm gonna try is I'm actually going to do the same thing, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and put it on there so it cures on with the, with the skin already on there. Um, let me grab the bottle so you can see what we're using here today. This is a one-to-one -one ratio. A stone coat countertops art coat same thing that I use to seal my paintings when I seal them with the resin and uh, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get started um, doing this here a few things I want to go over with you though while I do this give you some more info that I got um, and we've done this on a few videos I think some of the videos cut out so you may not have seen it on all of them and I plan to do more in the future but you can um, use additives in your resin so you can like tint it with paint you can actually tint it with nearly anything um, paint is probably the one that I use the most along with um, alcohol inks because I used to dabble with alcohol inks so I have those handy I'm not going to tint any of this today I may add some glitter to some of it though so We'll see here that in just a second. Um, clearly I'm going to have enough resin left over to do something else with, and I'm not exactly sure what, but I'd hate to waste it. Um, yeah, let me keep going here. Uh, glitter is really cool. I don't know. I, I love glitter. <laughs> I love glitter in the resin, specifically. Um, I haven't really ever tried res uh, glitter like in my paint or on an actual painting, like on a wet painting or a dry one for that matter. I have added it to one um, painting that, uh, one set of resin that I, I sealed a painting with. I made a dumb mistake and stuck my finger in the resin while it was curing, so it kind of got ruined. I don't know if I showed you guys that one. I may have. Um, but yeah. I think we'll do this one here, and then I'm going to go grab some glitter, and maybe a different cup in case I don't want to glitterize all of this. We'll be right back. I'm back. I found some glitter. I have no idea where I got this. Probably Amazon, but it's WOW glitter. Could have come from any craft store as well. I think I'm going to use this silver glitter because a lot of those skins over here, as you can see, have silver tones in them. Um, and then I think I forgot to mention, you can also use mica powder in the resin as well. Let me go ahead and torch these before I forget. Uh, you can burn your mold, so be careful with that as well. <laughs> I smell something funny, so I'm guessing I got a little close to doing that. 
little sprinkling of light dusting in there. Um, it kind of, a little really does go a long way. Obviously, the more you want, the more you can use. Um, but I just put in like a, it was like some, I don't even know where I got it. It was just like a tiny, tiny little like vial of glitter. And I put that into a decent sized cup of resin and it got glitter all over the painting. Like it was the one that I sealed with the glitter. And I was shocked at how, at how like little of glitter really went a long way. <laughs> so you don't need a whole lot to get any desired look. Look at how glittery all that is. My resin is getting hot, so that might mean that we're close to our curing time. Or our working time, I guess. That's the word I'm looking for there. Okay. I'll set that there. And hopefully my syringe will kick up the glitter. It looks like it's doing just fine. I want to show you We don't want to hover it over what we've already done. See how glittery it is in there? Super cool. And I don't know if this is going to work. I figure the ones that I'm just doing like plain are more likely to work. But I am hopeful because it would be cool to get the skins to actually adhere to the the resin because that's an issue that I know some have is gluing their skins onto whatever um, like glass dome or whatnot a uh, lot get bubbles or streaks or lines from the glue and that can obviously compromise the the look of it my uh, syringe is not wanting to cooperate any longer, or not much longer. Got a lot of tension every time I try to grab some. Yeah. That looks good. And you can fill those up as much or as little as you like. Um, let's torch these last ones. I don't think I have torched any with glitter yet. Okay. It looks like they're stuck in all of them, but I'm guessing maybe that's just the way the light is hitting them because they're all in the exact same spot, so I can't imagine having debris in the exact same spot of every single one. Um, but here are a few of the uh, the cutouts I have. Let me try to get it to focus. Really like that one. Just kind of reminds me of like snake scales. So obviously whatever you want to show on your bracelet or whatever ring, you want that face side down. And I don't know how to do this without it like, to get it like perfectly on there. So we're just going to have to play it by ear. Uh, let's get a stick because maybe that'll help. And I don't know, it may like completely sink and cause problems. No clue. First time experimenting. It did sink. <laughs> um, I'm okay with that though. Not, not terrible. Um, let's do another one. I, like, I love this one actually. Maybe one of my favorites that I cut out today. Got like all bubbly. I don't think I want glitter on this one though. So I'm going to do this again with one that's not glittery. So I'll try it here. That one did not go in very well. But it actually is leveling out pretty good on its own, so I am impressed. Uh, I think I like this one. I think this one should be glittery. Um, the other thing is, once you cut it out, is check both sides. Make sure you don't like the other side better. <laughs> it's kind of simple. Lots of colors and swirls and some silver in there. Let's see if I can drop this one in better than I did the last one. Fine. Nope. But did, hopefully I can zoom in on that for that part. Did just kind of like suck it in and make it level. Uh, I'm impressed. I didn't expect that to happen. Um, this one's a little bit thicker, so we'll see what happens here. 
think I like this side better. It's pretty similar to the last one I showed you. And I will do this one with glitter as well. This one's thicker, so I can actually hold it a little bit better than the last one. And I don't know, they may sink all the way down the bottom by the time the, the resin cures. Love this one. Like a rainbow effect to it. I think I will do this one with no glitter. This one's thinner, so it's harder to hold. Oh man, wrong way, bro. Fell in the wrong way into that one, so I didn't want to compromise that. I'm not too worried that there's resin on this side, like on the top side of it, because that side will go down into the tray or whatnot, whatever it's, um, wherever it's going. So I'm not worried about that. I like this one. It's kind of like a little like purple flower butterfly at the bottom there. Really cool how that one cut out. I will use this one with some glitter. I do want to leave some glitter blank just in case. And then that just like levels it out on its own. It's so cool how that works. So yeah, I will um, finish placing these. I might use them all. I might not. I'm definitely going to leave some without any um, skins on them just to play with those for future experiments when working with jewelry see how they work um but yeah we'll, we'll we'll let these cure and i will come back and pop them out and see how they turned out in about 24 hours or so i uh, will see you in a little bit hey everyone we are back um it's been about 24 hours plus or minus an hour um i'm gonna risk it from my experience if they don't cure all the way um, as long as it's not like an hour, obviously it's still liquid. Um, it might just be a little sensitive to the touch and it'll continue to cure the longer you just let it set. Um, but yeah, we want to see how, how all these turned out. One of them I came back in later and there was a dog hair in it. I think it's this one. They just pop out relatively easily. I think this was also the one that kind of, um, like spilled over. So... Um, so far they're like super cool. This one's going to be hard to get a close-up on since it's completely clear. I don't even know if you'll be able to see the dog hair in there. Probably not. I can see it though. Looks really cool. Um, pretty excited about this. Uh, give me actually just one second. Okay. I got these little, um, pendants. I just wanted to see. These actually probably won't work. It it's too big. Slightly too big to fit in there. But pretty cool. So it won't work for this. May work for something else. And actually, here let me pop out one that has the thing on it. Um there are something called bales, B-A-I-L-S. And you can actually just glue it to the back and just put that on the string. I'll try to locate one of those before I'll try to locate one of those before the end of the video and show you what I mean. Sorry, I think I paused you when I meant to just zoom in. So this works really well. I think if you were going to do that, you'd want to sand it down a little bit. It does. It's not sharp. Sharp's not the word, but it's not smooth, I guess. Um, and if you were going to do that, I'd probably recommend putting, making sure that the back is covered with resin too. I don't think this would ever peel off, given it's like glued in there with resin. Um, but it would probably just be best to protect it. Uh, we'll keep going. This one was a little one. There wasn't a whole lot of resin in that one compared to these others. I wish it would stay zoomed in, right? So you can see how different size that is. Here, maybe I'll stop. I do it like this. You can see. But so far, I would definitely say, like, just putting it right on top definitely works. And if you get, um, a mold that's the right size you would just pop it right in there and you're done glue it in resin it in however you want to do it or I guess get pendants that are the right size <laughs> either way I'm surprised that some of these actually look really tiny so cool love this one it looks glittery in there there's actually no glitter in the resin itself it's the like the paint on the skin. Speaking of glitter, let's do a glittery one and see what it looks like. 
Ooh. You can still see the colors in there. I definitely think there'd be more glitter in there than my personal liking. I'd like to see more of the color. But it's awesome. Here's a clear one with just glitter in it. Um, it does look like it sank a little bit on some of it. There's still glitter through out, but I would definitely say like towards the bottom or when you're looking at it, it's the top. There's more glitter here than there is like on that layer of it. Um, but I don't think it compromises anything. It's not like it's not like sitting on top. Like there's no texture to it, so it's definitely integrated into the resin. I won't make you watch me pop out all the clear ones, but I will do the ones with the skins on them just so you can see how they turned out. So. In my opinion, too much glitter, if there's such a thing. I'm not convinced there is, but in my opinion, I don't see a lot of color in there. I just see a lot of glitter. But if that's what you're going for, just like a hint of color and then a whole bunch of glitter, then it's a success. That actually looks really cool that way because the color underneath is very um, like blurred. I remember this skin. It's almost similar to this skin right here. So there's not a lot of stark lines in it. There we go. So it's like that. There's not a lot of stark lines. It's just kind of like color. And that's what this looks like. Just color but with glitter on top. And I have just a few more here. Ooh, that looks really cool. Silver, red, yellows, and greens. A little disappointed they don't fit into my tray. I knew they were a little big. These pendant trays are a one inch pendant. Um, the skins fit in perfectly. They're one inch hole punch with one inch pendant. And these are literally 1.1 inches. So just barely too big. So maybe if you just sand it around the, the edges just to get the edge um, to fit. And then it would just kind of like bubble over a little bit. It probably wouldn't. Wouldn't be terrible. Might try that. Might try that. Oh, I guess you want to see this side. Really pretty. I'm going to pop these last three out and show them to you all at once. I definitely like this. Um, oh, looks like I did not get the torch on this one very well. Because there's a big old bubble. I think it looks cool, especially where it's at in there. It's a huge bubble too. That's so crazy. And actually this whole thing just looks cool because right here kind of looks like a the world like what with a green tint to it and then we've got like the earth I guess is what I mean and then this yellow orange layer with that crazy bubble in there and then that red layer at the top. I don't know. I'm not upset with that bubble at all. Normally I'd say oh no we should have torched it more like maybe in this one. Oops. <laughs> I dropped one, but it landed on the phone. This one has a bubble in there, too, so it's very important to torch. Make sure you get all those bubbles out. And, oh, there's actually two bubbles. There's one on the end, like on the edge there, and then one in the middle. Um, I think it was really difficult for me to see if I got all the bubbles out of here. I could see them popping, but you couldn't. I couldn't really tell if they were, if I was getting them all or not. This one's got a few bubbles in the resin as well but once again it's all in that one layer there's several uh, let me see if I can point them out like one two three four five six little bitty ones looks like there might actually be some in the green sorry I know the camera's going crazy I apologize um few in the green right there um but they look really cool still I'm not I'm not upset with with these bubbles at all but here's a one way you can um, use resin and your skin, your leftover skins. Normally, you know, if you don't save them and peel them off, it's just trash. And leftover resin, as you saw, I had plenty of resin left. Um, even after I did these, I actually did some coasters. I'll show you those real quick. Okay, we're back. And here are the coasters. This one's really little because I didn't have a lot left, but I didn't want to waste it. So I was like, I'll just throw it in here and see what happens. Uh, it's not fully cured yet as you can see it's warping I'm gonna stick that back in there also there was some um, resin or residue left from the last pours, and the resin was curing so I didn't want to waste time um, 
cleaning it. I know, it sounds crazy. Um, so I just threw it in there. I figure I'm, it's just for a fun little project, so I'm not too worried about it. This, I actually um, mixed the uh, some mica powder in. Let me find those. I mixed. It's this Get Creative with Hygie Life. The purple haze and the wild plum. I think the I got more of one or the other. And so it just made this really cool color. Again, there's some dots. I don't think that's actually um, from other resin projects. I think that's just mica powder that didn't get mixed up very well. And then with the cup that we put the glitter in, I just poured that clear resin in first. And then I poured some of the color resin from the mica powder tints in. And got this really cool that's really cool design it kind of like clouded like ballooned out and it's not um Here, let me see you can't really see it very well but it's not like on this side you color doesn't go all the way to the edge it just kind of sat in the middle of the paint of the resin um mold so the color is kind of centralized so uh, i really like this one so that's that. I'm um, going back to talking about these. Uh, I couldn't find my uh, my actual bales, but this was just a bottle cap, and this is the bale. What I'm talking about here, I just glued it onto this bottle cap, so you could do the exact same thing here, and just glue this on. Or you could let's see if this works. You could just stick a magnet on the back of that, and then the magnet sticks inside these um, these bottle caps. Um, this is a magnet. I don't know, does this magnet fit in here? Yeah, the magnet doesn't fit into the bale. Into the, um, the pendant trays. Sorry, I think I'm getting all my words mixed up here. But you could just, this uh, is an epoxy sticker that's on this right here, on this magnet. Um, they, they yellow and they, they, they'll curl up after so many years. Um, this I've made, oh, I don't know, five plus years ago. Um, it's not bad, it's not in bad condition, but it's not something I would want, um, to sell not a condition I'd want to, if I was just making it for myself for five years that'd be fine but I wouldn't want someone to stick it in their jewelry box and then come back five years later and it not be in good condition but that would actually work pretty well there and I think I've said in in, in prior videos maybe <laughs> um the magnets I use they're one inch magnets and one side's adhesive so you just peel off the adhesive and then just stick whatever you're whatever you're putting on it in it so there is that. I think that is all of the resin projects that we did for this video. Um, let me know if you have any questions or any ideas. Uh, I, this was a complete experiment doing using this, this um, mold here. And I am pretty excited about the results. I will definitely be doing more of this. Um, mainly, just one thing is just when you're doing a resin project and you just have a little bit of resin left, just like we made the coasters. If you've got even less, you can just throw it in here make clear ones for later if you don't have any um mold or any uh, skins ready or if you do and you know you're going to be doing a lot of projects like you're going to resin 20 paintings and you might have some extra left over then before you get started then just cut out a few and just set them in there because it worked really well pretty impressed with it i guess the only thing negative thing is if you get a bubble or something you, you didn't miss or that you missed you didn't get then you're stuck versus if I didn't put the skin on there I could just either throw this away or use it for something else or use it with a skin that that bubble would complement that'd be the only I guess downside to putting the skins on first um, but I like that because then you don't have to worry about any adhesive showing through streaking making other bubbles etc so once again if you have any questions comments leave them down below I appreciate that um, please subscribe, like, and share. I'll appreciate that as well. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Y'all have a great day and do what makes you happy.